Hello viewers, Science Insight have brought you another interesting module of biology, mitosis and meiosis. Before going into details of mitosis meiosis, don't forget to like and subscribe our video for more informational content in future. So, M is for mitosis or meiosis. Basically, it is the process of continuity of life. Living organisms always reproduce by dividing their cells of the body and this process will help them to grow and develop throughout their lifespan. Have you ever looked down at your leg or your arm to find some cut and you have no idea from where it comes from or how you got it? So you put on a bandage and few days later it's gone, it's all healed and you don't even think of anything of it that how amazing process it is and how this happens. Or let's say you are looking at your nails and you notice that they are a lot longer than the last time you cut them. Or let's say you are looking in the mirror and you notice that you are a lot bigger than you were five years old. What do all these things mean and have in common? One major thing they both have in common is mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division done by most of your body cells and it's really important for your cells to divide. And if they do not divide, you won't grow. I mean, how do you grow if you can't make more cells, right? So no reasons why you are bigger than you were when you were five years old because of mitosis. Mitosis also is a great for repair of damage. If you have some kind of accident, like when we were talking about that cut on your arm or leg, well, you want to make sure it get repaired well so you have to make more cells to do that mitosis is great for that now it's really important to understand what it is not mitosis is not a process that makes sperms or eggs cells because that's something different which is known as meiosis let's move on and understand what mitosis is and how it is different from meiosis and how it is taking place in different region of the body as you know that cell is the smallest unit of life it is the smallest unit that is existing in living organism cell is the structural and functional unit of living organism it means that all the living organisms are made up of cells and the cell consists of many parts and each part performs its own specific function but how it is growing how it is moving on cells only grow to a certain size and then they divide cells divide to replace dead or injured cells your body is constantly making new cells to replace the ones that have died or that have worn out so the cell division is necessary for all the living organisms for the organism growth the dividing cell is called the parent cell and the two new cells are formed are known as daughter cells so up till here you have a lot of question in your mind that where the mitosis and meiosis taking place in the body well it is a type of cell division and these two types of the cell division are taking place in plants and animals both so the mitosis is the type of division that occur in the somatic cells of the animals and the plants it is the division of cells to form two new cells that are exactly alike however meiosis is taking place in germline cells which are the reproductive cells that means they are taking place in sperm and egg in animals well, it's really important thing to understand that your cells are not dividing all the time. If they all did was divide, it would just be a rapid crazy growth. In fact, this is a kind what cancer is and cancer is uncontrolled cell growth. Moving on, interphase is the phase before mitosis, which is actually a phase and where the growth and growing and DNA replication is taking place and all the daily cell functioning is occurring. That's where cells spend most of their time in respect to the whole cell cycle. Mitosis is a very short amount of time in respect to the whole cell cycle. But mitosis is a critical process because this is where it is going to divide and make more cells. Before we get into the steps of division, it's it's really important to understand that your cells have something inside them an organelle called the nucleus and the nucleus holds your DNA. DNA is very important because it's genetic information and if you are going to make more cells you need to have the same DNA in those new cells as you did have in your original cells. You want it to be identical, no mistakes, that's very important. 
the problem is you have got a lot of dna and we have got to get the dna into the new cells using mitosis so there has to be a better way to organize that dna well 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 that actually happens is that dna can be organized into these condensed units called chromosomes chromosomes are made up of the dna and proteins and you have probably heard before the humans have 46 chromosomes that means 46 chromosomes are found in most human body cell nuclei now let's study about mitosis. Mitosis is a process of cell division where chromosomes are replicated and separated into two genetically identical cells. What this refers to, it means that the chromosome number remains same in the daughter cells as it was in the parent cells and generation after generation the chromosome number is maintained. Mitosis is the process which involved in growth and cell repair and is as essential as the reproductive cells. So, dear student, you have understood that DNA have been replicated in the pro in the interface of the division, cell division. Now we can get right into the mitosis. I like to tell my students to remember PMAT, P M A T. It's like a, like a little acronym that you, helps you remember the sequence of the stages occurring in cell in the mitosis. P for prophase, M for metaphase, A for anaphase, and T for telophase. P math. The very first step is the prophase. Prophase is because it's the beginning step. The nucleus is still there and it's going away on later on. But at this stage, we are actually still uh, we are actually seeing the nucleus here. The chromosomes are still visible. In fact, we say they are condensing, which means they are thickening and coiling and are still visible. The next stage is of metaphase, M for metaphase. But do remember like M for middle. That means the chromosomes are aligning themselves in the middle of the cell. The nucleus has been disassembled. It's no longer there. So we have got the chromosomes in the middle. Wait on. The next step is the anaphase. Anaphase is thing like going away. Then chromosomes move away. They are moving to opposite sides of the cell. So they are moving towards the poles of the cell. Now one thing to point out, these chromosomes, they are not moving by themselves. They actually have something called spindles. These spindles are the fibers that, uh, that are helping the chromosome move towards the end kind of uh, it's like a thread like structure which is helping the last stage is the t t phase is for the telophase and the chromosomes are actually at the complete opposite poles and the new nuclei are forming on each side of the you know, of the chromosome to make these two new cells the nuclei are starting to surround the chromosomes on both the sides i like to think the t is for two because you can really see in this step that the end goal is going to be two cells in the human body they are each going to have 46 chromosomes and again remember they are very identical to each other Unlike mitosis, meiosis is completely a different process. It is a process in which four cells are produced with the reduction of number of chromosomes in, from the parent cells. The process is responsible for producing variety and genetic variety and the meiosis does not make body cells. It is responsible for producing eggs and sperm cells. Unlike the normal body cells which contain 46 number of chromosomes, the egg and sperm have 23 number of chromosomes each. So after fertilization, they are making 46 chromosome each same as before mitosis occurred the cells undergo interface similarly in meiosis the cell will also undergo the interface in which when the cell will be growing dna will be replicating and all other necessary process will be carried out just like mitosis interface happened before meiosis so interface is essential before mitosis and meiosis as cell has been spending 90% of its time in interface. Let's study the PMAT strategy or PMAT stages of meiosis. Meiosis has very first step known as prophase one. One thing I like to remember about prophase is pro. This actually means before. It kind of helps you remember that it comes before all other stages that have been started. This is where the chromosomes are going to condense and thicken. They are actually going to line up with their homologous pair. There is a concept known as crossing over in prophase 1. 
it is a bit lengthier phase as compared to the prophase of mitosis. The word homologous here means that the chromosomes are approximately the same size and they contain the same types of genes in the same location. They are going to match up. It is during this prophase one that this amazing process occur known as crossing over. Chromosomes line up in homologous pairs so they can transfer the genetic information and exchange their materials between different chromosomes, forming a tetrad. Tetrad is basically the composition of four chromatids exchange the segments of alleles resulting in different gene combination. The nucleus will disappear, then chromosomes align in the middle of the div dividing cell. Spindle fiber starts to form. This phase is known as M phase, metaphase, and later the anaphase come in which the separation of the homologous pairs occur towards the opposite poles. And last phase is the T phase, which is known as telophase. The two new sets of the non-identical cells are generated. The nucleus starts to form around each new cell. This is the process is known as cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is basically the formation of cleavage furrow between the two cells and the two nucleus forming two different cells. Dear student, we are on to meiosis 2, which is followed by meiosis 1. The very first step of meiosis 2 is prophase 2, and it's not going to be the same event as that took place in prophase 1 because they are not going to have homologous pair or the crossing over. Here in prophase 2, the chromosome and the spindle fibers start to form like in the prophase 1 and the spindle fiber formation around the chromosome of each new cell is the main event occurring there. Then comes the metaphase 2. Remember, think I'm, I'm for the middle. The chromosomes are going to line up in the middle. It is the event that is taking place. The nucleus have been disappeared over here. Then next comes the anaphase, which it means that oh, far away, moving far away. The sister chromatids are split and pull towards the opposite pole of the cell. Last phase is the telophase. Telophase is basically the, uh, the process in which the two new sets of non-identical cells are generated from each dividing cell. The nucleus start to form around each new cell resulting in four cells that are formed. Cytokinesis is the event that takes place after the cell have been divided, means the formation of cleavage furrow, which is produced in the animal cells. However, in the plants, it's phragmoplast. We will discuss that in our next video. Cytokinesis is a complete process of splitting of cytoplasm. Now, keep in mind that meiosis in male produces pump cells and in female, it produces egg cells because of independent assortment and also crossing over you are going to have variety for example in male the four sperm cells that are produced each time there are all four different from each other they are also different from the starting cell because the starting cell had 46 number of chromosomes however the ending cells here have 23 number of chromosomes so they are not identical to their original parent cell this is going to lead a variety a reason why two siblings with the same parent look different i hope you clearly understand the concept now so the last question most of the students have is what's the difference between mitosis and meiosis? Well, we have studied so far that mitosis is the process in which identical copies of the cells are made, such as your skin cells, stomach cells, and all other cells of your body. However, meiosis is different in aspect that it contributes to the genetic variety and the new organisms are formed. In this case, it is involved in reproduction. Mitosis is also involved in growth and repairing of the damaged cells and it also shows replacement of the worn out cell. However, meiosis is not involved in any type of making of body cells. The second major difference between mitosis and meiosis is that meiosis have crossing over synapses. However, in mitosis, there is no crossing over. There is no exchange of segments. So that is why the mitosis show identical copy of the daughter cells as of parents. However, in meiosis, the daughter cells are completely different from their parent cells. I hope you like the video. Please do like and subscribe our videos for more content in future and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.